Prince Harry and the Crown star Dominic West were once buddies, but before the program aired, the two men lost touch. According to an insider, the Duke of Sussex was left outraged after West mentioned their relationship in an interview. Harry threw a S fit, West's friend told an outlet. He accused Dominic of invading his privacy. Dominic told him not to be ridiculous. They haven't spoken since. OK, previously reported the actor discussed their friendship while promoting the final season of the Netflix series. We sort of lost touch because I said too much in a press conference, and so we didn't speak after that, West said on Sunday morning. I think I was asked what we did, West continued. And what we did to celebrate when we got there and I probably said too much. In 2014, the thespian mentioned the Duke of Sussex during a press conference. Harry was very much part of the team, West said at the time. He seemed to specialize in building latrines. He built this incredible castellated structure with blocks to keep out the wind, and it even had a toilet roll holder, he added. Harry has been vocal about his desire to avoid the media, and he recently celebrated his legal win against the Mirror Group after he accused them of hacking his phone. Today is a great day for truth as well as accountability, Harry said in a statement. The Duke of Sussex began his legal battle in 2019, and it took almost half a decade before the High Court reached a verdict. The journey to justice can be a slow and painful one, and since bringing my claim almost five years ago, defamatory stories and intimidating tactics have been deployed against me and at my family's expense, the spare author explained. And so, as I too have learned through this process, patience is, in fact, a virtue, especially in the face of vendetta journalism, he added. Harry has a contentious relationship with the UK press, and he implied that he will continue his fight against the tabloid industry. Today's ruling is vindicating and affirming, Harry concluded. I've been told that slaying dragons will get you burned. But in light of today's victory and the importance of doing what is needed for a free and honest press, it's a worthwhile price to pay. The mission continues. High Court Timothy Fancourt discussed the reasoning behind his decision. Fancourt ruled that the Mirror Group only played a small part in everything that the Duke suffered and was not responsible for all the unlawful activity that was directed at the Duke, and that a good deal of the oppressive behavior of the press towards the Duke over the years was not unlawful at all. I consider that his phone was only hacked to a modest extent, and that this was probably carefully controlled by certain people, H. Newspaper, Fancourt continued. Sources were quoted by Daily Mail.